Go. <laughs> this is literally cyber. Yo, Logan, let me see the flag real quick. Did the dagger walk with it? Yep. <laughs> it's so big. Wow. <laughs> we got the Gibby flag. Bro, this looks so right sick. Right behind the TV, too. I need to get the mirrors in. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> College is a strange and unique time in one's life, if that wasn't obvious from the previous clips. It's been described in the most cliche of ways for years. Time to find out who you want to be, an important step in the adulting process, and so on and so forth. I'm sure you've all heard it before. The fact of the matter is that the reason this has been stated before any of us were even born is because it's true. The amount of not only knowledge, but personal development you learn and experience from even just your first year is enormous. Now, before I get ahead of myself and spoil the entire thing, let's start from the beginning. Hi, my name is Luke Parrott and I'm a film director. Before college, I didn't really know who I was. I knew who I wanted to be, but that was about it. Right before I started my college journey, I decided that I wanted to live life as it was thrown at me and just experience every day as a gift. Um, I'm Braden Johnston, and um, I'm Luke's roommate. <laughs> I love basketball. I like, um, personal development, becoming a better person. I like working. Uh, I like working hard just because I like feeling the fulfillment of working hard. And uh, yeah, I love my family and I love my friends. My name is Logan. I was, <laughs> I was getting, sorry, sorry, sorry. My name is Logan Wright. I'm a computer science major. I like media and sharing media with people. That's why I like watching movies. It's been fun this year because I just really enjoy that. I'm obviously passionate about computer stuff. That's why I'm computer science, like building computers. And I like football, I like UFC. I'm I'm future spike ball professional, so I'm pretty passionate about that. I'm like I'm like really trying to go pro. Oh, uh, we got my roommate Logan. He's just a complete bitch. I just I completely hate him. <laughs> I just literally oh, I just can't stand it. I can't wait to move out. And, uh, <laughs> I fucking hate that kid, dude. I hate that kid, dude. Just living with him, just like seeing him on it, like I wake up and I just like stand up on my bed and look over the wall and I like almost throw up in my mouth and I'm just like sitting there and like watching him sleep and just like thinking about his sweet, loving. Yeah, my name is Darian Stubbs. I, I'm a business major. Uh, first year at WSU. I'm from California before this. I, I took a long drive here, <laughs> at least 26 hours together. Um, I'm big into basketball. I like movies, especially horror movies. I do trap shooting a lot. Darian's a goofball. Um, I love Darian though, the Darian's the homie. Let's get this interview started. Okay, what's your first question? <laughs> I am Garrett Burris. 
I am a health science major. Um, I go to Wichita State University. I really like playing music. Um, very involved with all kinds of church activities. That's what I do throughout most of my week. Um, I try really hard at school, so I have a lot of homework. I, I do hate Garrett, like legitimately, like like one on one camera, you and me. Let's not worry about the interview. I cannot stand this kid. Hilarious guy, talented musician. When you, you hear him play rap songs on his acoustic guitar, it's so funny. It's so funny. Ever since I left the city, you, you, you. I remember the first time we met Logan and Darian, we left our door open and Logan and Darian were the first people we met. And then I was like, we need a proper door open so we can get more people walking by to say what's up. And then as we were attempting to do that, we heard you guys down the hall, so we decided to go say hi. And it turns out you guys are trying to prop your door open at the same time. So we kind of bonded over how we were propping our doors open. And just as soon as it started, days turned into weeks. The small friend group of just five dudes was about to get a whole lot bigger. Like, a lot bigger. Our room began to branch outward to the hallway that we lived on as we met more and more people over the following days. I mean, one of the biggest first experiences was us playing card games in the LKL. And that's where we met, like, all the girls. That's where it was established that, like, dang, we are on the Women's Engineering LLC. Like, it was me, Luke, Brayden, and then Darian and Logan, and then just like 10, 12 girls. And we were like, okay, we're gonna try for this game. And then we did terrible, but we had a good time. What is it? Breaking the power The. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure what you're suffering from is called huge biceps. I won, obviously, all the games. I won every single game. Um, <laughs> No, um, I think we played Cards Against Humanity, um, and that was a great introduction to everyone's sense of humor, which is a bit all over the place, but it's great. Um, I'm Madeline. I am a biomedical engineering major, and I'm from KC. I like figure skating. Did that for a bit. I don't get to do it as much, which is sad, but I love figure skating, and I like doing art, which I also don't get, don't get to do too often, but... I really like those. And, of course, engineering stuff. So I was here at Wichita State, like in the dorms, like a week before everyone else came in, and no one was here. And I was like, oh, what do I do? Uh, there's no one here. But then, uh, like, the week that everyone started moving in, I heard commotion coming from that room over there, the trap house. And I was like, oh no, I have to live across from this. Um, my name's Lainey, freshman at Wichita State. My major is aerospace engineering. Um, I love to read. I love to ride horses, horse girl. Um, I love to like, I love Marvel. I like to sleep, is that a passion? I am Lindsay Mendenhall. I selected this room and then my roommate Ryan selected me. I'm studying biomedical engineering, and I'm from Nebraska! Lindsay, I feel like, was kind of very similar to me. We're different in a lot of ways, but we're very similar in a lot of ways too that made us like very compatible as friends, and like we can definitely relate to each other more than a lot of other people can relate to us. Very smart. She got me through our chem lab together because I was just always asking her for, not the answers, but <laughs> the answers. I'm Ryan Sanchez. I am 18 years old. <laughs> I am from Overland Park, Kansas. I was late to picking rooms, so I got stuck with her. And I am biomedical engineer. Um, I mean, I gotta go with Ryan first. I literally call her a weirdo probably every day. She's like the definition of a firecracker, I feel like. Like, she's tiny, but don't make her mad. Um, I'm Kelsey. I'm an aerospace engineering major. I'm in Young Life and I'm the outreach chair of the Rocket Club. She's a lot of fun. She's very crazy, but she just 
works and works and works and I have a lot of respect for her because I cannot do what she does on a regular basis. Just, she's cool. She's the person I go to also if you like need something. Kelsey, Kelsey's a bad driver. Don't tell her. <laughs> <laughs> this is so weird. Okay. Uh, I'm Briley Cross. I'm 18 years old and um, majoring in medical laboratory science, minor in bio. I like art you know, like painting, drawing, that kind of stuff. Um, anything that has to do with animals, love it. <laughs> Brick, she really likes Euphoria, uh, Briley. Uh, she comes out, we've played Fortnite with her. Super smart, always down to do just whatever, as long as she's free. So I'm Deacon Zordal, you all know. Um, I am a health major. I'm getting a PA, uh, get my CNA over the summer. Came in, take med term, chemistry, biology. I like the human anatomy side of things. I'm more into the woman anatomy, you know. You know what I mean. <laughs> I'm big into football. Whenever football season comes around, that's always fun. And then I'm a big sports guy. Deacon, who was like my first official friend here, and that was really nice. He's the biggest pain in my ass, definitely. But, uh... Yeah, I would still say he's like my best friend down here. Like if I need something, I go to him. Funny dude, super hardworking, super smart, uh, <laughs> super cocky. I make fun of him all the time about how Deacon is always, yo, this blows, this sucks, it's stupid. Or, yo, I'm the best ever. <laughs> Soon the trap house became a close, tight group of people that cared for each other. We ate food together, we played games together, and there wasn't really a day that went by without people hanging out in the trap house. College is a very important and transformational period in your life. I mean, you come into this new chapter with entirely new friends and you try to figure out what the heck the point of life is. It turns out it's much simpler than you think. I had the privilege to sit down with the Trap House group and figure out how much it's personally meant to them and just how much it'll affect their lives going forward. I think it's safe to say before going on this endeavor of self-reflectance, it's important to understand what we are as a united group. I mean, so I asked them, what is the Trap House? Trap House, um, to me, is just a big bunch of group of my friends that we can all act stupid and no one can judge each other. Um, it's also like, it, to me, it's like a Narnia, 
Like I have my regular spots and then I have the trap house and everything. There's nothing predictable about the trap house. And there's not a dull moment. Um, the trap house is our humble abode. <laughs> It is kind of like our designated hangout spot, I guess you could say. A meeting place where we all go to have fun or we all go to like, you know, we're going to go do this, we're going to go do this. Or we sit there and play Mario Kart and like get together, hang out, movie nights. The place to be. It's like the hangout spot, you're bored, go to the trap house. It's kind of like to quote Thor Ragnarok, Asgard's a people not a place. Kind of like the trap house isn't, there's like a centralized area that people meet up, but it's really more or less just the group as a whole is what it references to. I don't know, I think it's really cool that we have like, we've built up this community where just like anyone can be a part of it. Um, anyone can join in or out um, just based off the day. And like it began with just like, obviously just our room and then our floor. But like we have friends that are like, I don't know, C3, D3, like we have friends from all over Shocker Hall, and then every once in a while we get just random people. So uh, it's kind of a neat dynamic. To me, the Trap House is the group of people that have known throughout the freshman year so far um, that are a great group of people that I had no idea um, that I would get to meet and hang out with. They're probably honestly not people that I would normally associate myself with just based off of where I'm from and what I like to do but that's really cool because it allows me to meet people who think differently and it just shows like it's really cool that the trap house is so diverse but so awesome because like everybody has so many different like personalities and like difference about them and you don't think you would like get along with them but you do my second form of family is the way to word it. Uh, sure, I'm not always there all the time. And first semester, I wasn't really as close as I wished. But I'd say the Trap House is just another community, a uh, nice way to spend, uh, to spend time, get your mind off of school, and just have a community with people. That's what I see the Trap House is, just a second family. A group of hooligans just <laughs> who hang out together and uh, cause some monkey business. <laughs> College is chaotic, stressful, and oftentimes intimidating. Becoming accustomed to a college life can be easy for some and difficult for others. So I sought out to see how the Trap House helped people get accustomed to the college lifestyle. I'll go. Um, <laughs> um, I thought it was very terrifying. Um, I'm not even gonna sugarcoat it, especially like going into college, yeah, like that's one of those scary things where it's like new life, new friends, new like everything, like especially since I was from Texas, so like new state. But like especially going into the trap house, like I feel like I psyched myself out a lot about it because it's just like one giant group and it can be really intimidating. Um, but you know, like once you got in, like everything was super chill and everybody like warmed up to like, or at least I would like to think people warmed up to me pretty quickly. I feel like I adjusted really fast. Um, I was kind of expecting the opposite because like being away from my family and my dog, I was like, this is gonna be so weird. But yeah, within like the second or third night of being at college, I was like, okay, like I feel like I've been here forever. And I don't know, I just really like the independence of being like at school and on campus and that kind of thing. High school was easy. I took it for granted. Like, so now like that I have to actually study, I'd never studied before in my life. So like, it was like, what is this? And I remember failing my first test and I literally wanted to like drop out. It was just difficult getting around, making sure I knew where everything was at. But besides that, I've always had a good work ethic. So I just like get homework, just kind of get it done. Meeting the trap house, I kind of got like nervous because I was like, mm, they already have so many people and they have Zoe and Julie and then there's me, but I was completely wrong. Um, so it was kind of nice just meeting guys and just automatically fitting in. I feel like I was one of the lucky ones that kind of like engaged early on. It's like just watching it evolve even into what it is now. Cause like it was originally just like 10 of us and now we've like tripled in size almost it feels like. Getting accustomed to college life, I don't think I'm there yet. The way I describe college life and how you get accustomed to it is, 
is it's not really college life. It's that area of grayness where you figure out what you want to do with your life while you're also figuring out, hmm, who do I want to be with? Who, wh what, what kind of relationships do I want in my adulthood? Where do I want to live? Um, is this truly my passion and desire I want to have in life? You understand that being adult isn't really, oh, I have everything under control. I'm always taking care of it. It's more of, I'm, I'm, get, I'm working through it. I'm slowly getting my way through and you'll never actually feel like you're on both feet for a while. I don't think you ever will in college. It's always, um, it's always understanding that it's, it's chaotic. That's how college is. Recently, I've been reading philosophy books and it's been very eye-opening. One of my favorites being Confucius. Um, he talks about this idea of Tao and Tao. Tao and Tao are the natural order of the universe, whose character has a moment where they realize their potential for their individual wisdom. This wisdom cannot be known by the concept. It must be experienced through being in one's everyday life. Using what Confucius talks about just really speaks to me. The idea that each moment in life is a gift and that you only experience each moment once is something truly special. This ideology allowed me to talk to these people I hold so close to me and just, I asked them to talk about just some of the weirdest and wildest things we've done as a group. Starting off, the first thing I told them to talk about was throwing a coming out party for our friend Garrett. Oh, my coming out party. Wow, that was a trip. So one of my, one of like the worst days of my life. Garrett had spoken to Brayden talking about how he hadn't really had a good day. So I was like, oh, this is either going to make him like really like upset or like he's actually going to really enjoy it. I had so much homework. I was so tired, so stressed. Um, I studied for this test for a couple hours in my seminar class. We get to my seminar class and he says, actually, you're taking the test home. It's due in like, I want to say less than 12 hours. And I was like, I still have a seven o'clock lab. And like uh, 9.30 the next morning, all this stuff, I was like doing the math in my head. I'm like, if I stay up all night, I've got six hours to work on this. I remember we timed it with his lab or something so that we had a lot of time to set up. And so there was a bunch of balloons just everywhere. We blew up like 20 balloons. One of them had a penis on it, if I remember correctly. And I don't know what happened to that balloon. So there's like the 69 above Luke's door. There's like all the stickers on Garrett's door. There was the banners, the tiara. <laughs> I just remember like we were all trying to like hide and like we had so many people that like no one would be quiet and you would just be in a room and hear like everyone in the next room like being loud. And you're like, shut up, dude. And me and Deacon were gonna show him our asses, but that fell through for whatever reason. But so I'm stressed out, get back from my lab, and my lab was just like super long, kind of sucked. So I'm just exhausted. And I'm like, yeah, let's go work on homework. And I, I'm with Lindsay, and I open up the door, and I see a phone with the like the video on, and it's facing at me. And I was like, what? And then I look over and I see Darian. He's like. And I was like, what is this? And then everyone pours out of all of the rooms, just everyone that I know. go and like all this stuff and they're like happy coming out party because it's a common theme that I'm gay I'm not gay but they threw me a going out party and like there are decorations they put stickers on my door it was hilarious I thought it was so funny but I was just so out of it that I, like and like everyone felt bad but they're like we had this scheduled like 
This is probably the only thing that we've like actually put together all, all year. Giant group of people, like the room was full and we were all celebrating Garrett's fake coming out party. I think it was one of the first things we did that like brought everybody together. Yeah, it was pretty fun. It was definitely one of the, like the like first things that I like actually did with the trap house. So like I wasn't like fully in it yet, but it, it was definitely pretty interesting to be able to like be in like that kind of environment and like do something like that, like just just cause, like yeah. just to do it. It, it was made like super me fun. Feel secure in my weirdness. Oh yeah, absolutely. And, like other people have other people do weird shit too. And same <laughs> kinds of weird as me, and I felt less like <laughs> validated. <laughs> yeah, I felt very validated. I was like, okay. Yes, <laughs> nice. Other weird people. <laughs> nice. I was like, thanks, guys. I was like, it's still not gay, but. <laughs> and then I actually I took down like the stickers off my door and stuff last weekend, because I was like, I just don't want to have to explain this to my parents right now. Another bonding experience we had was we all went to an abandoned amusement park and we explored the area surrounding it. The abandoned amusement park was pr was pretty funny. We, we pull up and just, we, <laughs> we pull up and we instantly go in and there's just, like the first thing I see is just a pentagram, which you already know, it's just gonna be a great time after. Thought I was gonna die. Putting that out there <laughs> right now. Thought it was the most sketchiest thing we've ever done, but really enjoyed it. We wanted to explore this for a while and we finally all went right as the sun was going down and we got there and it was starting to get dark, so we all pulled out our flashlights. You know, we were walking around looking at this thing. But then eventually we go on this, we, we walk around like the water, um, not slide, the water ride, the water ride, or what used to be the water ride. And we get to the top and it's a slide because it's the water ride. We're like, guys, I think we should slide down this. And there was one problem with it. There's this massive hole at the bottom and there's no good place to stop before it. And we all wanted to go down the slide, but uh, we didn't know exactly how to do it. So we all went one at a time down the slide, but none of us could like stop at the bottom. I just remember like so specifically, like getting up to the top of that slide and just like, like knowing that, not necessarily that was the only way down, but that was the fastest way down and we didn't really know what we were doing. Being up there and like doing that with like everyone else was again just like a movie moment where it's just like everyone's just like having fun and like not really thinking about anything else. I will say I was like kind of scared because Madeline wiped out and slid down and then like hit Lainey or someone and I was like, oh my God, we're gonna die. Uh, I was guilty of sliding in and almost killing Madeline. Um, like I said, I would have never done that before, so that was kind of like a fun experience to actually have with a group of people. It definitely was something that I'd never experienced before, and I mean, it will go down in my memory as like the most like high school, college age thing I've ever done. One of my favorite experiences we've had as a group was uh, right before winter break, where I wrote a little sketch and I, add, I had some of the people in the trap house act out my script. And I directed it and I edited it and all that stuff. And I thought it would be fun if we all watched it together, like everyone in the trap house. And of course, this was right before like Christmas time. I thought that maybe throwing in a little sentimental gift would be nice as well. That's the core memory when I think of the trap house. I love that. There was a period of time where like there weren't many people like coming to the trap house and like sitting in there. That was definitely, I think, the most people that have been in the trap house. You usually know a lot of people in the trap house and no, everyone's not always there. And there were people I don't even think I met before whenever I first showed up. So it was definitely cool. Uh, it's like, it was really nice to see everyone in the trap house all at once and willing to like just watch something like that. I thought it was hilarious. I enjoyed every second of it. He also, while we were there, he gave us all a present and we opened it at the same time. And Luke was kind enough to give all of us ornaments that had the Shocker logo on it and then it had Trap House on it, which we all took photos of and sent into the group chat of them on our trees when we got home. I don't know, it definitely went on my tree and then I had a fun time explaining to my parents what the Trap House was because they got real concerned for a second. It's literally so cute. 
It's like my favorite thing. <laughs> it was awesome. I was like completely taken aback too. I was like, <gasps> when we first signed up for that, I didn't know exactly what it was, but everybody was like, oh, let's go to the trap house. Let's watch this. So I was like, okay, bet. And then when I saw this thing produced by you, I was like, oh, this will be cool. It was definitely funny. Like would watch it again. Yeah, I remember watching it the whole time and being like, man, I wish I was in that. That looks so fun to make. Yeah, that watch party was awesome. I think that was the most people I've seen in the trap house at once. Just was like, Luke really wanted everyone there because it was like, it was a uh, project he had done for one of his film classes where it was like a, uh, kind of like a murder mystery type of thing. But like I play, and I got to play a character in it. Like in the video, I just make, I just had like this stone cold face just staring at Garrett during it because Luke just tells me before we film, yeah, just look completely stupid and straight faced. I'm like, okay, I can do that. Originally, Luke was going to play the part that I did, but then Luke was like, hey, are you free today? And I was like, yeah. And uh, he was like, do you want to play this part in like this, this uh, project that I'm working on? I said, yeah, sure. And then as we were setting stuff up, I was like, well, what do you want me to wear? And then like people just started shouting stuff out. But yeah, the production was a lot of fun. Um, I, Logan just kept making me laugh because he makes his stupid face. Um, if you've seen it, if you're watching this, you've probably seen it. I, I, was a, I was a star role. Um, I got nominated for a few Oscars, but I didn't really want to show up for the, for the award show because I, I thought it was kind of lame. I also just liked watching Luke and being proud of him. And he was just so happy and just like glad that everyone else enjoyed it, which of course, because he, he makes bangers. He doesn't disappoint ever. Are we, are we ready? I'm ready. Okay. <laughs> nobody, it was literally nobody. Yeah, I think she's joking. Okay. Oh. That was terrible. Okay. okay, we're starting the movie. Wait, I don't it's cooler! Hey, Brayden. What's up, Zoe? Uh, did Brady seem off tonight? Um, I don't know, maybe a little bit. I don't know, I just think something in his mind like snapped or something. I was just making sure everything was okay. Yeah, he's a bit off sometimes. Uh, good night, Zoe. Good night. So who is it? I don't know, I just woke up and there's a dead fucking body on my fucking floor. Brayden, what did we say about using that kind of language? Oh, there are no potty words. I think I'm gonna be sick. I hear there's been a murder on our hands. No, officer. Do I look like a goddamn officer to you? Uh, no. No, no sir. sir. Well, I'm not. I'm a detective. Hired to find whoever the hell killed this poor girl right here. Now, in order for this to work, I'm gonna need all of you to cooperate. I'm gonna need all of your alibis, starting with you. Is the camera really necessary? Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, I just went straight to my room after talking with Zoe in the hallway and took a shower and then went to sleep. You didn't brush your teeth first? Is that very important for the story? Absolutely crucial. Nah. Yeah, what, do you want me to say that I killed a girl or something? Well, I mean, maybe. Did you? 
Um, I mentioned to Brayden that Brady seemed off. Um, I tried falling asleep, but I heard a faint scream at like three in the morning. And I don't want to think that he did it, but it just can't be a coincidence. And he's just been acting so weird. And I'm just really, really scared. <laughs> You're telling me that bitch thinks it was me? If you were to choose someone in the group, who would you think did it? Definitely Brady, no question. I would say Brady, but that's only because we were at the club. He whispered in my ear that he was gonna act up when we got back. Oh. <laughs> Brayden, oh. why are you crying? It wasn't me. No one thinks it was oh. you. Oh, 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 it was Brady then. <laughs> well. One thing's for sure, she's dead. Yeah, no shit. And it was them. <laughs> well, Brady, this might be a bad time to tell you this, but all your friends thought you were the murderer. Guys, what the fuck? <laughs> and remember kids, never run with knives or sharp objects because this could happen to you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. The impact the trap house has had on all of our lives is unmatched. The quality and quantity of the memories we've shared together is just enormous and it will continue to grow the entire rest of our lives. The first year of college is scary, but I realize it's not once you have people close to you every step of the way. Well, I'm a pretty social person, so it was like really hard for me coming to college and not having anybody other, like, I love hanging out with Miss Jilly over here, but I'm, I like to like be out and like go and do things and talk to people and talk to lots of people. And so it was like really stressful for me at the beginning when I was, I was like wanting to hang out with people and I didn't like know anybody. And then whenever I was introduced into the trap house and everybody was like super welcoming, that was like what kind of helped me like relax and be like, okay, I like kind of do belong here, you know? First semester, I didn't really treat it as they were as super important. They were close people to me and they mattered a lot. Um, over this last couple of weeks and the, over the break, um, I've kind of come to the terms of like the trap houses. Like I said, when I first answered a couple of questions ago, um, they're like a second family to me. Um, everyone I've met in college that's close to me, they're, I, I definitely see I, I will always fall back on them or check on them, making sure they're okay. They, they help, they've helped me through a lot of hard times. College is a lot more different than I thought it was gonna be going into the year. and. Uh, that's how I feel like the, the Trap House influenced it. It's just from the fact that, I don't know, I met so many people that I wasn't expecting to meet and I just have become like best friends with some really cool people that I just was not expecting to happen. I'd say the Trap House made my college experience, so far at least. Like, I try to think about what I'd be doing if I wasn't in this group of friends and I can't think of what I'd honestly be doing without it. I feel like I'm more willing to try things after hanging out with the Trap House. Um, I mean, in high school, I wasn't the kind of person who'd just go out in a group of people and just do random crap. Um, but meeting you guys, like going to the abandoned um, amusement park, so much fun. Like you guys got me out of my comfort zone for certain things. I definitely say it forced me to meet a lot of new people because I would have found my group and I would have stuck with that group but now that we're in the trap house it seems like sometimes there's new people every week there's new people you meet everybody that everybody knows it's just fun you get to meet a lot of new people and it's like it's just a new adventure every day so I'm just like seeing everyone everyone's always so excited to see me when I walk in and I feel so welcome there and it's a good stress relief and I really appreciate everyone there I think it would be very, very hard for me to forget anyone that I've met from the trap house. Like, 
because I feel like the first year of college is really where you branch out and kind of become yourself. And so they have definitely helped me become myself and they will always kind of be a part of me. But like it really helped me to like get out and be okay with meeting new people and like different people and getting to just like be out there and be social. Just this time in college, like I've learned more of just who I really am and like the type of person I kind of want to be. And just like the experience I have at the trap house have kind of like helped me to like grow a little bit. And it's like, so I think it has been like extremely impactful on what my life now is and what I think I will be like going forward. I've had some of the best memories I've had here than I've had in my entire life. Like I, I've done more in this semester and a half than I've done in my entire life. And like, that's pretty crazy to think about because it's gone by so fast. And like, you know, it wasn't even like a year ago where I was just like, not even like thinking about going to college. And now like I'm here and I've had some of the best times I've ever had in my life. You guys have all impacted my life and like a little, I feel like I've taken like a little piece of everyone's personality and like integrated into mine somehow. Um, just with how we clicked and like, we all just rubbed off on each other a little bit. And yeah, I'll just bring me so much joy. <laughs> Besides the writings of Confucius, there's another philosopher that I've been researching. You've probably heard of him. His name is Socrates. Uh, he has a very interesting metaphor that I thought I would share. I was attached to this city by the god though it seems a ridiculous thing to say, as upon a great and noble horse which was somewhat sluggish, it needed to be stirred up by a kind of gadfly. It is to fulfill some such function that I believe that God has placed me in this city. Now the meaning of the metaphor within the passage it's written in makes a lot of sense, but if you take it out of the book it was written in, I think it becomes very interpretive. <laughs> What's a gadfly? I think oh. that is the purpose oh, oh, of oh, this oh, quiz too. Okay, then let me tell you. Let me tell you. Um, it said that the fat horse needed a push from the guy, <laughs> right? No. Okay, great. No, no, it's that was a serious question. Okay. Um, so she said, "I am the fat horse." <laughs> <laughs> Essentially, that's kind of how I'm taking this. Is I'm the fat horse and. <laughs> The gadfly is all of my friends and family, you know? It's like everybody's giving me a push and like trying to help me get where I need to go. And it's like, it's helpful. Like it seems small and like, like just kind of like there, but like it's a big important role, so. Yeah. I thought it was cool how it talked about like this city, you know, like we're from a different state, you know, maybe being here, you know, in Kansas was the push that we needed. There, every, everything here, like everything alive was here and they have some sort of purpose, no matter how insignificant it may be. Every person is so similar, but at the same time, just completely different. The Human Genome Project concluded that every human genome is 99% similar. It's the 1% that makes each individual 100% different. Fact. With the whole, like, God put me here, like, my whole life, like, I did not know what I was doing. Like, I mean, I thought I knew what I was doing at the time, but like a year later, like, oh, I'm not doing that anymore. And so it was like kind of like jumbled around. And I think like this is the most like right I felt like I need to be here, you know? Our friend group in the trap house, I guess, like, my purpose in relation to this could be like to help you guys on your journey in life and your guys' purpose is to help me on my journey in life and vice versa. We're just helping each other get along through the college experience. I mean, my dad's always, one of the things he's always said is God has a plan, which that's totally true. Somewhat annoying, because he'd always say it at like, the point where I just don't want to hear it. You're, you're right though, I mean, I've known Justin for seven years now. I've been best friends with him. And we both had no idea where we were going to go to college. I didn't even know if I was going to go to college. But right before, you know, the time was, was up to decide, literally within a week of the deadline for applying to college, I applied here and, and got in and decided that I was going to go. And when I got accepted, I went to tell Justin. And that night, that same night that I was going to tell him, he told me this is where he was going. 
And so that right there, without any communication or, or knowledge that that's what we were going to do, the fact that that ended up working out, the fact that we got to end up in the same dorm, the fact that we got to end up in the same dorm with Spencer and Zach, and so the fact that we're in the trap house and that we know that, like, that is, I think, what the true meaning of the metaphor, metaphor is, is that, like, it doesn't matter what your story is, the fact that you end up where you're supposed to be at the right time is the answer to like any question. It's like, yeah, that's we're here because that's where we're supposed to be. Going into college, I wasn't really sure I made the right choice. I mean, it's it's just such a big decision in your life. It'll literally shape how you go throughout the rest of your life. Having the opportunity to experience so many things with the trap house made me come to the realization that to get the most out of life, you have to live every day as a gift. The college experience is such a unique time where you get new stories every single day. But what exactly is the importance of the college experience? I feel like there's two sides to the college experience. There is the you're here for an education and there's the you're here to like meet people and figure out life and just learn how to be on your own. I think for me, like, college is about finding your people and finding who you are as a person. You know, like, you hear stories about, like, old people. They're like, <laughs> I found my best friend in college, or I got married in college. Like, a lot of shit happens in college. So we go through, we have adventures, and all that together is, like, building you up for, like, the real world. Like, we're getting there, but we're not there yet. You know, you're not, we're not on our own. And it's just that whole college experience is kind of what, is like building me up to it like going through meeting friends that'll be there for later on down the road all the time and like going through just people that you meet that you'll stick with no i see why people um like talk about like say college was the best time of their life because it literally is like you're growing every second of the day and it's just like your little island that you have where you just are here to grow you can go to college as like I said, I was very shy, didn't know anyone, never got out of my comfort zone, and now I'm more open to try new things, meet new people, do these different experiences I never thought I would. And college really helped with that. So not only is it important to get your education, but putting yourself out there really can help you define who you are as a person that will help you also in the future. She said, let me just let me tell you. Um, how I would describe co the college experience is not all rainbows and sunshine. Like there's definitely like so many good things that happen in college. I mean like this whole interview we've talked about, like a whole bunch of good things. Like I, I love college, but like, like realistically, there's a lot of things that people don't want to talk about. You know, like sometimes college is hard. Sometimes you go through mental blocks. And I feel like that's a very important part of what college is, is like getting through those mental blocks and like realizing that you are like strong enough to get past the mental blocks. And sometimes you have to learn to put yourself over others. And it's just figuring out your life, figuring out who you should prioritize, what you should prioritize, and just understanding how to enjoy life. I mean, learning through everyone and the people you meet that life has a lot to give and college definitely has opened my eyes to that. Like most kids is their first time away from home, first time like getting real responsibility and freedom like to do anything. You don't have to tell anybody where you're going. You don't have to do your homework if you, if you want to do that. There's consequences to all your actions but it's all up to you. It's not really just about your career and developing your career. It's about personal development and learning who you want to be in life, how you want to do that, and really just having fun while you're doing it. This is the last time in your life that you have dedicated time to learn. Like that is why we're here. It is to, to learn about our careers and what we're going to do with our lives. But you also have to look at, okay, well, while you're here, what are you going to do? and you have to live your life you can't spend every night cooped up in a dorm room so the fact that we have the trap house and, and different campus activities allow us to go out and have those fun times and, and do 
something. Um, and so the college experience is different for everyone and some people will spend more time in their rooms or some people will spend more times out exploring different places just based off of who they are and what they like to do. But the most important thing about the college experience is you stay true to yourself because it is the introduction to your life as an adult. And I feel like if you can take a few people like out of college with you and like remain connected with them for the rest of your life, I feel like that means more than a class ever will. The chance of living your life to your greatest potential is a struggle most people cannot achieve. Often the social struggle of fitting in with others or work just takes time out of your day. The key is letting yourself grow through your experiences. In life, every moment is a gift. Every day is a new experience that you won't ever get again. If there's one thing I learned from looking back on all these memories, it's that you have to live life to its fullest. Find the fun in the special times and the gift of living in the boring times. Surround yourself with people that will help support you into being the most real version of yourself you can be, and own it. You never really stop growing up. It's about finding the balance between knowing yourself and figuring out life around you. This is your life. How do you want to live it?